Back in we go. What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to Scoustar MTB. Today I've got a little day off, so I've decided to do a solo mission here to Landegla Forest. Probably about an hour away from Liverpool, so it's considered my local trail centre, even though I'm hardly ever here. Scouts out today, hardtail life. Nice. Capra's still missing his cassette, so no go for that. Anyway, let's go. Okay, here we go. So here at Landegla, it's definitely kind of a love or hate place. Like a lot of people absolutely love it and can't say anything but good things about it. And a lot of people absolutely hate it. And I've got to say, me, I was definitely one of the haters. For so long I hated this place, never come here. Refused to do it flat out. So you got like, like a three mile climb to get you to the start of the trails. And then a bar, well, and then towards the end when you're kind of done, getting a bit knackered, you've got two more monster climbs to the finish. So for me, it's never really been worth it. I'm a very gravity orientated rider. I love my downs and unless the uphill is worth the downs, and I don't normally like a place, but it's only an hour away from here. I've been doing a lot of work on my fitness, so I feel like I can handle it a lot better now. It's not as bad as it used to be. Still, hate those climbs. So we just got to the top of that three mile climb now. <clears throat> a little pit stop, the top of the trailhead. Getting ready to drop in, some nice views there. Okay, dropping in on the main trail here at Landegla Forest. Probably gonna stick to the red line. Not really a fan of the extra climbs in the black trail. This is just extra climbs for nothing. Oh, a bit windy, bit of a headwind. It's slowing me right down. I remember I'm not on my full sauce. Not to charge too hard. Even though I do have the rim pack tire insert. Probably gonna be working overdrive on this ride. the brakes.
rough. Come on, Hartel, you can do it. Damn cassette won't go into the high gear. But this is fun in the wet. All these slippy roots. This little black section here. I don't know, I hope that wasn't a puncture. Confused. I thought this was just a little black section. Take you back up onto the fire road to the red. But it doesn't look like it. Pump to maintain momentum. Definitely don't think I'm on the red anymore. Definitely answering false source territory. Oh, that's a bone shaker. So after that last little pit stop, seen a little bit of black trail that looked like it kind of cut out a fire road climb to the next section of red. But it looks like I've been fully sucked into the black trail. Which 
This is not what I wanted because I'm not a fan of the big switchback climbs further up. But looks like I'm in now, so. So if I see a little bit that takes me back to the red trail, I'll hopefully jump back on that, but I feel like I'm stuck on the black trail now. Back in we go. I mean, the downhill sections are pretty good on the black. Just never been a fan of those switchback climbs. <laughs> Little bit squirmy then. And some big ass switchbacks coming. This is a bit I didn't want to do. Some little shortcuts. So we're into the dreaded switchback climbs on the black route. Not where I wanted to be right now. Just got sucked in by a little bit of trial that looked like it would cut out some fire road. And but I've ended up fully committed to this black trail. So I'm trying to do some little sneaky shortcuts. Just try and cut out as much as I can. Because I don't like climbing. Whew. Doing his mega climbs on the black. So tough. I'm not gonna make it up here. Also, just to had injury, insult to injury. Where the e-bike just went speeding past me. Super jealous. Need one of them in my life. These crazy climbs. Oh, he's so close. So far. Ah. 
Oh man. Hefty. I don't believe I just did that. So I'm done with the black section now. Thank God for that. Oh man. Done it back in the day a couple of times. I always said I hate the black. It's just too much climbing and not enough down. So I'm glad now I can finally see some red sands again. Get back on that trail. Dropping in on the little jump section trail. Little windy. Really trying hard to pump the backside of these slopes, keep some momentum. Love this high bend. Now we're about three quarters of the way around now and we're at the point where you kind of want all the climbing to be out the way and just have a few descents back down to the car park Nah, Landegla don't do that Right at the very end is when you've got the big climbs at Degla which doesn't bode well for my type of riding Nearly at the end now. I think up at the top here, you've got the option of splitting off to the right to do the blue trail, which takes you back around by the reservoir towards the car park, or you go left to 
continue on the red. Dropping in on one of the last sections of red. Always forget about this one. Always. on the hard tail. So glad I've got rim pack tyre into it and probably would have been walking the whole thing with a flat tyre. Boom. What's happening? Just finished up the ride here at Landegler, back at the car now. Gotta say, Landegler is not really one of my favourites. It was a good ride, like, but not one of my favourites. I think because it's so close to Liverpool, it's only about an hour away. It makes it convenient to come here for a quick blast. Uh, a lot of uphills, I definitely got sucked onto the black route, which I didn't want to do, just wanted to stick to the red all day, because it's a lot easier, you got to miss out them switchback climbs on the black. <sighs> Hardtail took a beating though, held up nicely. Rimpack tyre inserts are definitely a must if you've got a hardtail, definitely. Would have had a puncture and been walking the whole way back. Anyway. If you like what you've seen, smash that like button and hit subscribe. And don't forget to check out the Insta, Scoustar MTB. Peace.